Sister Wives' latest update, Robin Brown is under fire for her obsession with the OG kids from Sister Wives. Fans argue she interferes with family dynamics, especially after Cody distanced himself from his older children during the pandemic. Critics accuse Robin of controlling Cody's relationships while pretending to seek reconciliation with those she once alienated. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives Robin Brown gets blasted for obsession with OG kids. Sister Wives star Robin Brown is getting blasted for her obsession with the OG kids. Many of them have distanced themselves from Robin and Cody Brown and with good reason. All of the blame has been put on the OG children for being rude and disobedient during the pandemic, but the couple has yet to take accountability for their behavior. So, what has fans believing Robin is obsessed with the Elder Browns? Robin Brown gets blasted for obsession with OG kids. During the pandemic, Cody Brown claimed he was going to do a three-home rotation. Since he had no interest in first wife, Mary Brown, he was going between Janelle Brown, Christine Brown Woolley, and Robin Brown's homes. Unfortunately, he felt that Christine and Janelle were being irresponsible and disobedient. Cody also felt their children were not abiding by his rules. Therefore, he opted to solely stay at Robin's, with her five children as they were loyal and obedient. Since he had been known to favor Robin, this was just another nail in the coffin. The OG kids were used to Cody not coming around as much, but now he was never around and it was detrimental to the relationships. After a certain point, they did not care to be around their dad. Even Robin would interfere where she did not belong. That put a bad taste in their mouths as they felt she controlled their father. She has maintained he cannot be controlled or tamed, but she did recently try to get Cody to reconnect with his older children. Robin's dad was not around so she did not want Cody to be an absentee father. Sister Wives fans are now questioning Robin Brown's obsession with the OG Brown children. A Reddit thread was started with the OP writing this of Robin. If I had family members that I truly believed excluded my kids and was hateful toward them and did not love them I would cut them off and never look back. I wouldn't be obsessed with reconciliation with them? So, did other followers agree with this sentiment? A confused Brown. Robin Brown spent all of Christmas Eve crying on her bathroom floor about how empty her home was going to be. She missed the traditional fanfare and the whole plural family gathering together. This is what she had longed for and she takes any and all moments to remind viewers of what she has lost. Yet, there have also been reminders of how she and her children were never welcomed. So, why is she obsessing over a family that hurt her so badly? Her desire to be around them completely voids any and all of her accusations of exclusion. Especially since they're seemingly all including her, even after all the divorces. She just needs a check and a storyline. The paranoid, control freak in her can't allow little Lord Fauntleroy to be around his family without her. Who would socialize and make nice with people who hate your children? Truth is not a part of this configuration. Robin alleges she and her kids were treated so badly but she wants them desperately. Moreover, she wants Cody Brown to reconcile and bring the kids back together but she interfered with the kids group text. Essentially, she is a walking contradiction but fans have seen this from her all along. Today's next update, clues Cody Brown planned Coyote Pass land grab early. Sister Wives fans realized a long time ago that purchasing Coyote Pass was a ridiculous move for Cody Brown and the family to make. As season 19 continues, the family realizes the deadline to pay it all off is rapidly approaching. Of course, a lot of the drama stems from Cody insisting he doesn't have enough money to pay it all. Janelle scrambles to lawyer up and warns Mary to do the same. Did Cody actually plan this entire financial mess from the beginning? Was Cody Brown secretly plotting to take over Coyote Pass? Sister Wives fans can clearly see Cody Brown builds his entire life around Robin. But did he actually plan to greedily snatch all of Coyote Pass right from the start? Why didn't Cody put Mary and Janelle, along with him and Robin, on the piece of property that Christine agreed to give back to the family, not just him and Robin, a Sister Wives viewer asked on Reddit. I am really thinking Cody is trying to hide assets and make it harder on Mary and Janelle to fight it. 
curious to see if he went down there to change the names on the plot of land without Mary and Janelle knowing. The OP went on to say that they believe Cody is making it harder for Mary and Janelle to get their fair share on purpose. They think he's hoping they will just give up and walk away. Sister Wives fans have nothing positive to say about the family patriarch. Naturally, legal battles and property division aren't at all simple. But other Redditors thought the OP might be onto something. Cody believes that his wives' money and assets are his money and assets. At one time the family pot was shared by the family and dipped into at different times for the wives. Slowly, it shifted to Cody building a legacy for himself and Robin. I imagine Cody blew a gasket when he realized Christine was going to sell her home and gasp, keep her money for her own family as she left. Because Cody has allowed narcissism, pride, and an overinflated ego to spitefully drive everyone away from him apart from Robin who weakly placates him or master manipulates, I can't decide which it is. Cody is so self-absorbed he doesn't care about the OG3 or really any of his kids with them, so he's not going to care about rightfully sharing what's the whole family's. I think this is an example of how much polygamy does absolutely nothing to protect the interests of the women or children. Today's next update, Mary completes Cody's list of things to work on to save their marriage, only for him to say he's done. I had done everything that he asked of me, Mary Brown said on the November 17th episode of A Sister Wives. Mary Brown is continuing to shed light on the demise of her longtime marriage to Cody Brown. During the Sunday, November 17th episode of Sister Wives, Mary was preparing to leave Flagstaff, Arizona, for Utah, where her bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, is located. Naturally, the big move, and her upcoming conversation with Cody, 55, and his remaining wife, Robin Brown on the matter, had her reflecting on the rocky points in her 32-year marriage. In conversation with best friend Jen Sullivan and her husband, Mary, who was preoccupied painting the interior of her bed and breakfast, revealed that Cody asked me over the years to do a lot of things. He's like, can you do this? And then, we can work on a relationship? Mary, 53, recalled. He asked me for some specific things. He had this list of things that he wanted me to do in order for us to work on our marriage. And once I completed that list, he was done with me, Mary then continued in a solo confessional. I recognize now that he was like, there's nothing else I can ask. There's no other thing that I can use as an excuse of why I'm not working on this marriage with her because I had done everything that he asked of me. Now that Mary is officially single after being granted a termination of her polygamous marriage through their church, her friend Jen wanted to help get her back out there. But Mary was not wanting to date, since she's been single for like a month. Or 10 years, Jen pointed out, referencing the platonic nature the ex's bond took amid the last decade due to her catfishing scandal, during which Mary discovered the male suitor she connected with online was a female admirer. Elsewhere in the episode, Mary stopped by Cody and Robin's home to inform the couple, and their kids, of her plans to push up her move to Utah by a couple of weeks, leading Cody to question her reasoning for doing so. She then requested Cody's assistance in helping her with the move, jokingly calling it her severance package, since she didn't receive alimony when they obtained their legal divorce in 2014. Regarding how she's feeling about moving away, Mary said, good. I think I'm just ready to be in control of my limbo land and this is me being in control of that. Still, despite Cody's belief that the move will be a good for his ex-wife since he's no longer interested in a romantic relationship with her, the Brown family patriarch admitted that he feels a little sad about Mary moving since it's sort of like the end of an era. Of his true feelings on the matter, Robin revealed that Cody has been quite emotional about the big change. It's weird to me because I can see Cody's sad and he has gotten emotional several times about it, but this is what he chose, Robin, 45, said in a confessional. There's so many mixed emotions, Cody told the cameras separately. This would be good for Mary to move. It's a beginning. I got a bit of a nostalgic heart and it's a little broken. Just how broken Cody's feeling before Mary's big move was evident in the teaser for next week's episode. The snippet showed the former couple in good spirits as they cleared Mary's flagstaff home, with Cody even calling Mary his favorite ex-wife. But that all came crashing down as Cody was in tears over losing Mary. Thanks for watching this videos, 
please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.